Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bill and this is Task Warrior Lesson 8, User Defined Attributes or UDAs. So just real quick, here's the commands that we're going to have uh, in today's lesson. So for just for quick reference and for anything that happens post upload, if there's a correction or anything like that, you can go to this link right here at uh, the techtips.billherzing.com site and uh, I'll have any updates to that need to be applied to this lesson at that link. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's do a task list or we can do a TL and clear do a TL. Let's add some new tasks. Remember we had the new cake function, so we type new cake. It's alias to new cake function. So let's look at what we had for new cake function. We have um, to add uh, bake cake for then the first dollar sign one. First option is a, a name. Then we need a due date. Then the dollar sign three, we need to give it a project. So for this, we'll type new cake. The name will give it Christine. And then 2017-08. And then uh, maybe something like 31. And then for the uh, project, we could say baby shower. Baby dash shower. Hit enter. And it creates our uh, new tasks, four new tasks. If I do, uh, oh, TA is not a command. Do a TL. And let's clean up some of these tasks and just mark these as done. Go through and just do a whole bunch. So we'll go to the task and then give it a whole bunch of numbers. Let's do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 10, 14. And then we'll just say done and say all. And then all of those tasks have been marked as done. So if we do a task list, see that we've cleaned it up some we've marked a lot of tasks as done so it's a lot easier to look at if i do t task 10 done that one's marked as done as well so just kind of clean up our task list here if i do a task waiting you see the waiting tasks that are in the queue so we have the bake cake for tommy that we did last lesson and then the one we just added uh bake cake for christine that was the baby shower uh cake that we just added I just do task 17. It pulls up the information for task 17. Underneath the name column, we have attributes here. They're default for the Task Warrior application. So we're going to add some of our own attributes. These are user-defined attributes to, uh, the, to the system, to the configuration. So let's start. We can type task, then config, then uda.cost.type.numeric. I say yes. And then we're going to type task config uda dot cost dot label, and we're going to give it cost and say yes. So what this does is it creates two user defined attributes that are, we're just calling it cost. We gave it a type on the first one and a label on the second one. The type we gave it was numeric, and the label we gave it below was cost. So let's uh, let's see what that looks like. So let's task 17 edit. And we're just going to scroll down. You can see there's a UDA or user defined attribute for cost. It is right there, right above priority. And let's say the cost for baking this cake was $50. We're going to save that. Now, if I pull up the task information, task 17, you can see there now cost is a new field that shows up when I pull up the task information, 50. So let's add another value to our other cake that we have in the waiting uh, uh, tasks. We're going to do task waiting, and we're going to use task number 13 there, the bake cake for Tommy. So we're going to do task 13 edit, scroll down, and just like before, only we're going to call it 70, and save. Then do task uh, 13, and there we can see that the cost is $70. So let's take a look under the hood of Task Warrior and the task the, the dot task RC file to see what actually is, is being done. We're going to go nano.taskrc and you can scroll down here to the bottom and we can see, let's separate this out, that we have UDA cost, UDA dot cost dot type equals numeric and UDA cost dot label equals cost. So pretty straightforward. We gave it uh, we have a UDA, it's called cost. One line has numeric and the other one has just a label of what we're going to call it. In this case, cost. I like to visually separate 
my uh, sections here. So I'm going to add some dashed lines. We're going to put reports up here. So we'll go down. We're going to put user defined attributes. Let's add some more uh, user defined attributes. Type so UDA color type is going to be a string. And then UDA color label is going to be color. And then UDA color values, the different colors we can have. I'm going to tell the system what colors we can have. We'll do uh, not large, uh, we'll do uh, red, white, blue, green, and yellow. And then we'll save that. So we'll do a task 13, and I got a malformed entry, so I didn't put hashtag. So net task nano. Let's go to put a hashtag there and a hashtag there and save. Now we'll do task 13. Uh, still nothing shows up because I haven't added any colors to that task. So let's do that next. So let's edit task 13. So task 13 edit. And let's scroll down. And for UDA color, let's give it a color of red. And save. If we do a task 13, we can see there is the color red. All right, so let's uh, do the other task, the one for Christine, task 17. So if I do task 17, modify color with white, you can see there the color is white and the system accepted it. That's because white is one of the colors that's accepted. Let's, what hap let's check, see what happens if we put in a color that wasn't part of that string. So let's do task 17 and we're gonna go color orange you can see the system does not allow the color orange. That attribute is not an allowed value. But we can brute force it. So if we do task 17 edit, we're going to scroll down to the color UDA and say orange and save it. I'm going to do task 17. There you go. You can see that the color is orange. We brute forced that change into the file. One of the things we can do is assign an urgency score to a particular value. So if that value is there in the field, an urgency score is applied, bumping that task higher up the list with a higher score. So let's see how we do that. So let's go nano.taskrc. Let's go down and let's separate the colors from the cost here. So urgency.uda.cost dot coefficient equals let's give it a high number something like 30 now really stand out we save it so if they do a task waiting you can see task waiting uh, report doesn't have an urgency score uh, by default in here but as we learned from the last lesson under uh, task warrior reports we can modify these these reports so let's go ahead and do that Let's see how the report is by default. So if I do a task show waiting, you can see the variables and the values. So what I'm going to do is just copy all these. And I'm going to go nano.taskrc. I'm going to scroll down to where the reports are. Push this down. Just paste. And let's modify these lines here. So first thing I'm going to do is just bring this report over here and then add an equals so report.waiting.coms is there and now i'm going to go all the way to the end and add urgency after description so do comma urgency and then we're going to remove this line this line we need the labels so I remove that one and that one we'll take the coefficient off and then uh, let's just do equals and then all the way at the end we we'll do a comma urgency I'm gonna save that so we can check our math if we do task show waiting and you can see we've uh, you, the system automatically compares the default value with the uh, value that we modified so in this case you can see uh, columns and labels were the two lines that were modified of the waiting report. If I do task waiting, you can see that uh, 
the ta- bake cake for Tommy. Now that bake cake for Tommy has an orange. I accidentally hit or typed in a task start and didn't stop it. That's the only reason why it's orange. But it has a higher urgency score, thirty four point four, and the bake cake for Christine thirty point four below that. Uh, higher scores than all the other tasks that are waiting. So uh, adding the extra 30 to the coefficient uh, in the task report really made a difference there. You could re- really bump those tasks to the top. Alrighty, so let's do something where we're going to add another column in the middle. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to add the cost into this report. So I'm just going to substitute dependencies for the cost. So I'm going to take out depends put in cost and the same thing for the uh, the labels put in cost and save it so if I do task waiting uh, the column didn't show up I think I missed something so if I nano dot task RC and go back down to my waiting report there I have a dot indicator I need to remove that and just have a comma right after cost save it I do a task waiting now you can see that the cost column is there and for Tommy $70 and uh, bake cake for Christine is for 50 all right well I hope you enjoyed that lesson on user-defined attributes you can see now you can customize task warrior to your personal needs and uh, it starts to be uh, uh, have more value um, the next lesson is going to be user-defined attributes and report. So we're going to combine the two, uh, how to get information out of the custom uh, uh, variables and things that we put into Task Warrior, how to get information out of that. So uh, until the next time, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon.